Today, we're gonna be doing unboxing and bashing of the Traxxas Raptor. This thing says it'll do 30 miles an hour and it even comes with a nickel metal battery. This thing's completely ready to run out of the box. Let's get into it. So in the goodie bag here, it comes with a little charger that plugs into a cigarette lighter. Not sure we'll ever really use that, but it's free and it comes with it. Also, you have these little shock adjustment pieces and also some extra gearing and stuff in there if we want to make it go even faster. A nice little touch here, the body mounts are actually the stainless ones. I dig it. This is my first time getting a licensed body vehicle and I got to admit, this thing looks absolutely sick. I cannot wait to get this thing out to the park. So as expected, the nickel metal battery that it comes with is already in here. I'm sure it's not charged or anything, but to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm actually gonna use this nickel metal battery just because they don't really have as much power as the LiPos and we've got LiPos all charged up and ready to go. So I think for today, we're probably just gonna put this thing on the sidelines. It's a great backup battery, or if you don't have the option to run LiPo, definitely give this a try. It comes with the truck for free, so it's worth trying out. I definitely dig these wheels though. They're just like they are on the real Raptors IRL, so I love that. Everything else, typical Traxxas slash style, extremely flexible parts. I mean, if you did this with any of these other cars, except for the other slash there, they would break. But these ones, no Nope, these things are. These things, this thing's ready for a beating today, that's for sure. Ooh, babe. All right, guys, we've made it out to the sand pits with the Traxxas Raptor. I've been messing around with this thing for just a few minutes now, and this thing is doing absolutely crazy. The two-wheel drive definitely slows you down, especially in the soft sand like this. But you know what? All things considered, I think it's pretty cool. And for like 250 bucks, you can have a lot of fun with something like this. Let's keep doing it. <laughs> and so it begins. Here I am trying to tell myself that I'm gonna keep this thing looking brand new forever. I was gonna keep this one, literally, I was really trying and oh man, we're already taking some scratches. Footage. This thing is doing absolutely crazy. Oh, oh no. All right guys, we've made it over to the infamous hill climb. Sorry if the wind noise is kind of bad, unfortunately. It is pretty windy today, but let's see if this thing can make it up the hill. I got pretty low hopes and yep. All right, well, that wasn't really the right trail anyways. Let's see, let's try this again. Oh, <laughs> you know, I think the brush is probably just a little bit too much here. Maybe we can drive it down the hill at some pretty fast speeds though. Having a two wheel drive version of this totally makes me want to pick up one of the four wheel drive versions. That's a, probably something coming here in the near future. <laughs> oh no, it made it. I wonder what the range is like on this thing. 
All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna be trying out on this thing is a range test. And I hate that with the Traxxas slashes, they have a long antenna that they want you to stick up out of the top. So for this case, we're gonna try out a range test with the antenna actually inside of the truck. I think it'll probably not go super far, but you know, I think the antenna looks kind of lame. So we'll just have to try it out. This is a nice little road here to try it on. All right, let's see. Still have control. Probably, I don't know, getting close to 50 yards away. Still full control. Still full control, probably. Oh, we lost it. That's it. Oh, we, we got a little bit of control. All right, so around here, you're probably looking at about 75 yards or so. It's cutting out. But you know what? With the antenna being inside, that's, uh, that's not that bad. All right, here she comes. <laughs> oh no man this thing's getting all scratched up and there's no there's no like protectors on here to stop this thing when you flip it over this body's just meant to get beaten up but you know what that's not horrible the brakes on this almost seem worse than the regular slashes like full speed it just does not want to stop and i know that it's only stopping with the rear wheel drive but still it seems like the other slash probably did a bit better this motor i don't know yeah, I mean, that's full backwards and it just, <laughs> it takes a while to stop. up the hill <laughs> can it make it up this hill certainly not guys that's it for this video with the Traxxas Raptor this thing held up pretty awesome today just out here banging around the sand I definitely want to take this thing to a skate park and really put it through the you know destruction test that we love to do so much on this channel but make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the notifications bell so you guys are notified for that because that's going to be coming probably within the next like three weeks or so now definitely going to be putting this thing through its paces that's it though for this video I love you guys we'll see you guys in the next video peace out yeah